So DMS 2.0 contains a lot of new features. So the most uh, excited one will be the um, IP and test band reuse. And the second one, I would say, it is uh, the save and restart, a new um, algorithm for saving a snapshot and restart from that point, which helps the designer to save a lot of verification time. And the last one is the um, connection between system block real numbers to the electrical world, so to the analog world, so where we have the support for system block AMS, for example. We can see some methodology to uh, uh, able to manage a top level simulation starting from digital on top or analog on top with a new advanced test bench then can uh, able to mix uh, digital system variable file UVM and uh, analog schematic then is very useful for our job. The biggest um advantage we have uh, in this uh, new feature is that we combine both analog and digital verification world together. And in order for the analog designer to benefit or to leverage the advantage feature from the digital verification team, there is no need for them to learn new stuff. And the same for the digital verification team, we offer them a kind of a product of a flow so that they can really leverage the best of the other world without spending extra time to learn how to get it to work. So if um, you buy a new product which contains a lot of features and you don't know how to use it, then yeah, it's a kind of uh, waste of resources. The training is helpful to see also the different way that I use normally and how to find the configuration file uh, and uh, how to read the uh, output file uh, and the log uh, and where I can uh, find uh, the uh, information to, that is necessary to be loaded uh, to configure the top level simulation. <laughs>